every single chain in Jesus mighty name who's in this body who's in this body what have you done to her what every demon in that body right now we command you out in Jesus mighty name out in Jesus mighty name out in Jesus mighty name out right now in the name of Jesus Christ looser right now in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name in Jesus mighty name Jesus name Vera watch get up say I was struggling a lot with my relationships they would fail I would go into one relationship after another after another and it was like um, it was hurting me mentally it was hurting my parents it was hurting especially my dad because he was always praying for me and stuff so and he always like what's wrong with you and so. was there any other area that was affected in your life uh, yeah and I was also experiencing a lot of sexual dreams um, so when I would watch a movie or something, or I would overhear a conversation that wasn't very clean, that night I would go to sleep and I would just have extreme dreams of, yeah. And I would wake up in the mornings and I would cry because I, would, I just had no control over it. And I just felt so dirty, I just felt so gross, and I just like, and as a result I was, I kind of felt depressed and sad because I was like, so how did how did those dreams affected your everyday life? Um, as I said, I would just wake up, I would just be sad and depressed, and I just I wouldn't think straight in a way. Like I would just be silent. I would be shut down as well. So, so it would affect your emotions, right? Yeah. Okay. And so, what did you experience during the deliverance? How did you feel? So um, when we started praying and stuff, uh, Vlad said to raise up our fists like this, and then. Uh, once I started doing that and then I've also prayed against almost everything I could but that night I just remembered also Gladys's testimony where she was saying she was having a lot of sexual dreams and it was a result of a spiritual husband so I was standing there and I started praying against him and that's when I started getting weak and I started breathing abnormally and I was like what's going on you know and I realized I could have stopped it there but I didn't I was like okay just use Jesus we gotta you know finish this so uh, and then I fell to the ground I started sobbing um, yeah how did you feel right after your deliverance so right after um, during it I was just felt like I knew I was screaming but in my mind I was like praying but in my body I was just not in control at all and then after I was laid down on the ground I just like this tremendous peace just like filled my body and my mind and I just felt like a feather. I just felt like I could fly. Wow, wow, this is amazing. Come on, let, let's put, put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Now, how do you feel right now? Do you continue struggle with those dreams? And what's the difference you see uh, after your deliverance? This is the first week that I've s slept so good, like without those dreams. Like, I've been sleeping like a baby. Yeah. So, from last Wednesday till tonight, you had not had any dreams like that? No. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord deserves all the glory. Vera, we thank you so much for your deliverance and for what God has done in your life. And will be continuing the process of freedom. Can you please share a word of advice for people who might be struggling or they find themselves in a similar situation? Um, I just want to reach out to the girls who are in this situation. It's not normal for you to have these dreams. It's not normal for you to go to one relationship after another one after one and just fail. And I just advise do not be afraid to fight against that and just accept your freedom. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you.